morning. Out here getting a little bit of a day hike in today. Got a special guest with us as well. A little Starzinski. Hello. Where are we today, Star? We're in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Awesome. Heading out on about an 11 mile loop. The Little Missouri River. And our trail heads this way. We have reached our first creek crossing. Water doesn't look too deep, looks really muddy, really sloppy, slippery. So we're gonna find a way across this rascal and then continue on. It's deep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no problem. Just a short distance and we've made it over here to the Lower Jones Creek Trailhead. Hey, there's our loop we're doing. So we started here at the Peaceful Ranch. We've hiked to this point. Now we're gonna go out this way to Lower Talkington, down around here to the Badlands Spur, and then back up this Paddock Creek. Jones Creek down there in the bottom of your picture. Back country, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Very peaceful. All right, reached our intersection with the Roundup Trail. From here, we're staying on Jones Creek, so we're heading off into that direction. Found the uh, doggies out here. Oh, this old guy's right on the trail, isn't he? Wow, you are not afraid at all, are you? So cute. Oh, there he 
goose. The rocks here are uh, quite interestingly shaped. <laughs> I almost wonder if it's not like a piece of petrified stump or something. Look at it from this angle. Oh, yeah. Like the bark. Yeah. Wild. And thus ends our journey upon the Jones Creek Trail. And now begins our journey on the Lower Talkington. Very pretty hiking. Very peaceful. Other than this one right here, I've seen nobody out here. Haven't heard anybody. Only wildlife has been the prairie dogs and some birds and the crickets, which you can hear. The wind completely died off. The rain has stopped. And it is just a fabulous day for hiking. The trail out here is very much sort of choose your own adventure. There is somewhat of a trail that we're walking on sometimes. But uh, a lot of the times, honestly, this trail was really made by the animals. <laughs> And it's pretty chewed up and nasty and because this is all uh, backcountry you are not required to stay on the trail so you can just kind of roam around but what you're looking for I don't know if you can see it right out here on the horizon there's a stake sticking up and basically all we're doing is connecting the dots with the stakes you go to one stake you get to that one you find the next one See, here's the one we've been walking to, and there's our next one. Come out there. We found a watering hole. Very pretty. Oh, it's fall colors. I like it. You got all the layers. So cool. <laughs> Our trail became very badlandish. We found a petrified tree. Don't ask me what he got so scared of, but does it feel like rock? It feels more woody like than the ones in the painted desert, you know, that feel like solid rock like this still feels like. This feels like rock here, feel this. Yeah, feel this. Like you, you can tell it's tree, or it was. <laughs> yeah. The little chunks. Looks like there's another piece up there. Probably another one over here. Pretty common with these badland areas, I think. Doing a little hanging out here, uh, almost dead center of our loop. Very peaceful, very quiet. What do you think of the hike so far, Star? Beautiful. Lots of fall colors coming in different places. 
Lots of bushes and uh, some of the trees are really changing colors. It's been neat going from the grasslands to the badlands, back to the grasslands and the open prairies. And sometimes you feel like you're walking through a pasture back in Indiana, and other times you feel like you're walking through South Dakota in the badlands again. So very diverse ecology around here. The water everywhere here is very oddly colored. Yeah, I would not. Uh, I would not come here to filter water. I would definitely bring all that you're going to drink. <laughs> so we have made the turn onto the Badlands Spur Trail, which does not seem very Badlandish at all. We got about a mile and a half or so to cruise on this guy. We have ascended out of the little river valley up over the hillside here and then just climbed up this little pass where we have a beautiful view. Getting closer down here to the river, finding some pretty sweet little spots, some neat sandstone formations. Just finished a little short road walk here. About to make the connection with the uh, Paddington Creek Trail. Oh. Made the uh, junction and the turn onto the Paddock Creek Trail. And we are heading back west now. We're making our way back towards Peaceful Valley Ranch where we are parked. These uh, creek crossings have become quite the ordeal. Go, go, go! Yep, this is pretty much represented our uh, hike here. Very peaceful, very quiet. And there's like herds of these little things running everywhere. These guys are quite a loud neighborhood. Huge bird up there. We've heard rumors that there are golden eagles here. Perhaps, where is he? Come over here. Wow, he is so big. You can hear the prairie dogs yelping. That's what they're yelping about. They don't want to be dinner. We were looking for the big wildlife. Came around this corner on the trail here. And right there. Big old buffalo. <laughs> He's been eyeballing us. So we're going to find a way to safely circumnavigate him and give him plenty of space. This dude's real threatened by us. Just sitting here watching him, taking some photos with my good camera. He went to sleep. <laughs> so Star, what did you think about when you came around that corner and started to come down that hill and saw that buffalo? 
<laughs> you turned around and started walking back. I thought you were going to walk the trail in reverse, man. You were just like on a mission. Turn around. Yep, he's there. I'm going this way. That was pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. yeah I couldn't believe how close he was to the trail. Yeah. He did not give any bothers about us, though, did he? Try to get some nice pictures, and all I got is pictures of him snoring. Just winding down the trip here, the hike. I believe the parking lot for Paddock is down there on the other side of those trees. And uh, this Paddock Creek Trail, with the exception of the creek crossings, has been really pleasant. A lot of prairie dogs, uh, a lot of bunnies. Saw a buffalo. Saw buffalo, yeah, yeah. So, all in all, the loop's been fantastic. Great hike. Definitely a fun and pretty easy day hike. Uh, they got it listed at like 11.4. I think we're going to come in probably a little closer to 12.5 to 13. Paddock parking lot. So now I'll just take the little... Short connector trail back across the road over here and uh, hop in the ride and cruise back to the campground. All in all, fabulous hike, five stars. Uh, total number of people seen on the trail during our hike, which was uh, roughly, I'd say, seven and a half hours. Zero. <laughs> Zero people on the trail. Just, uh, just me and Star. So. Great trail, great, uh, great scenery. There's a whole flock of turkeys out there. I'll add those to the wildlife sighting list. There they are. And, uh, yeah. Here in Theodore Roosevelt, they call this the West Loop. Highly recommended. Just kicked up a deer walking through here, so we can add that to our animal tally. And if you look way out yonder, that is the Peaceful Valley Ranch where we are parked at. So just about back to the vehicle. All right, this has been a great hike. Fabulous, fabulous. I have very much enjoyed it. If you're in Theodore Roosevelt, Highly recommended if you got a day to come out and spend walking around the backcountry and really get to see this park. Yeah, totally worth it. And if you can do it in the fall, hey, it's a double bonus. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed the views, the pictures, and whatnot, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Peace.